Hello friends, today in this session we will discuss a very important cross-sectional element of a road that is right of way. Right of way is by definition the land acquired for construction of a road and this land should also include a space for provision of utilities on either side of the road along the length. IRC 73 2023 provides some guidelines for minimum right of way to be acquired for different categories of the roads. For example, for national highway and expressways, it says that for two lane road, for two lane road, this right of way should be 30 meter. For four lane road, it is 45 meter. For six lane road, 60 meter. For eight lane road, it is specified as 120 meter. For expressway, the right of way is 90 to 120 meter. For two lane road, in, in mountainous regions or hilly area, this is 24 meter and in exceptional cases, it can be 18 meter also, 18 meter also. And similarly, for a two lane road in built up area, located in mountainous and steep terrain, this is 20 meter and here also in exceptional cases it can be reduced to 18 meter. As I told you the right of way must include 2 meter wide strip along the length of the highway to accommodate the utilities outside the fencing, outside the fencing. Similarly, recommended right of way for the other class of highways like MDR, ODR and village roads, these are given in this table. For major district road in plain and rolling terrain, this normal width of right of way is 25 meter, but range is given as 25 to 30 meter. And similarly, for built up area, it is 20 to 20 meter or 15 to 25 meter. In mountainous region, it is reduced to a normal width of 18 meter and in exceptional cases it can be 15 meter. In built up area located in mountainous and steep terrain, it is normally 15 meter but it can be reduced to 12 meter in exceptional cases where land is not available. Similarly for other district roads and for village roads. Now few important points. Number one, the right of way shall be enough to ensure a setback distance of at least 5 meter. Number two, additional land is required at locations involving deep cut to maintain stability of slopes, high fills and unstable or landslide areas. Number three, if the road is planned to be upgraded in the future, then land with corresponding to the high class of road should be acquired in the beginning itself because later on, later on it becomes very difficult to acquire additional land. And the need for a wider right of way at important road intersections should be kept in mind while acquiring the land initially. Now I will, I will draw right of way for two categories of roads, let us say a normal two lane road and a four lane road to illustrate different features of right of way or different features which are included in the right of way. In case of a two lane road, this is the main carriageway which is 7 meter wide and let us say this is the center line of this carriageway. So you provide camber on either side of the center line. Then beyond that, 
you have a 1.5 meter paved shoulder paved shoulder of 1.5 meter and then beyond that you have the earthen shoulder this is earthen shoulder of 1 meter then depending upon the height of the embankment you have a slope and here you provide a drain and then again you come back to the original embankment and this is what we need a 2 meter width for utility. Now this will be a variable width that will depend upon the side slope height of the embankment but this berm here on either side of the drain is capped 1 meter 1 meter here and 1 meter here so this is the same details from the center line same details you have on this side also and that total is the right of way this is the carriageway width cw which is your 7 meter wide carriageway width plus paved shoulder is roadway width here that is rw roadway width up to paved shoulder or sometimes if you don't provide paved shoulder then simply earthen shoulders then the carriageway width plus shoulders is the road width roadway width so this is the right of way for a two lane road which is in open area now let us draw another cross section of a road showing details of right of way for a four lane road with depressed median and service road. So depressed median let us start from here where this is the depressed median and that is the center line of the road. So I will show the details of the half of the total right of way on the right side. So in the case of depressed median we provide a the safety barrier on the either side at the end of the median that is your safety barrier and beyond that there will be a 0.6 meter space on either side 0.6 meter and this total is 7 meter that is the width of the median depressed median after that we provide the carriageway of 7 meter that is 2 lane this is the carriageway 7 meter with camber in one direction and beyond that we provide the shoulder paved shoulder of 2 meter width and then we provide earthen shoulder of 1.5 meter width earthen shoulder now next is to provide the drain so this is the drain let us say and this total distance will depend upon the height of embankment and the side slope but here important point is that on either side of this drain we provide a berm of 1 meter but this total is variable it depends upon the height of embankment this is the drain after the drain you provide a shoulder of 1.5 meter that is your earthen shoulder for service road and then 
you provide the service road. 7 meter wide. This is 7 meter service road. After that, again you provide the shoulder of 1.5 meter earthen shoulder and then let me just take this part here. This is the earthen shoulder of 1.5 meter and that is your line and then you provide a space after 1.5 meter earthen shoulders you provide the space 2 meter wide strip for utility corridor 2 meter wide utility corridor That is the end of the right of way. Median width 7 meter, carriage way 7 meter on one side. Similar details you will have on this side of the center line also. And up to this point, up to this point you have the roadway, roadway width RW up to this point. So it goes up to the limit of earthen shoulders on this side. This will be 28 meter. If you just add it up, it will be 28 meter. Now, if there is no service road on a 4-6 lane, in that case, you, you terminate at the drain and then after that you provide this space, you acquire this space for plantation of the trees. And then at the end of this, again you provide a 2 meter wide strip for utility corridor. Similar to that you can draw the right of way cross and details for a 6 lane road, for a 8 lane road or any other road. So friends thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any doubt, any question you can write in the comment box.